quick video. I know y'all like watching the cutter work. We're gonna come down here and watch the cutter work. Our shear, our feller buncher, whatever the crap you want to call it. So, as y'all can kind of see and tell behind him over there, man, that's a big old open area. Sure looks like a, like we might be doing a clear cut or something, huh? Oh, because we are. Hell yeah, brother. So, I don't know if I filmed anything here yet or not. I honestly can't remember. I don't think I have. Or have I? Anyway, this track that we've been working, what well, it was uh, originally 160-ish acres. I believe that's what it was. Up there, Mr. Brady. And it was originally started in 2000 and uh, thinking, I think it was originally started in 2019. Maybe, maybe, no, there's no way it was started in 2020 because at the time of the year that the hurricane would have come through and everything else, there's no way it was. It had to have been cut like fall or you know, late summer. We usually get pretty dry down here in in the latter half of fall. Oh, we got a line sagging up there. Let's see what we got to do to tighten that up. That's going to break. I bet it's supposed to go through one of those little rubbers up there. That line just, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, that line just recently blew, and, uh, so he's been, I took it off, and I cut the bad spot out of it, because I had plenty of line to make a new one. a new hose or to splice it back together and that was a really really long hose and it had been really really expensive so yeah we got, we got something with it it's got to go y'all can see it hanging there underneath the chipping cylinder yeah we gotta get that tightened up Anyway, back to the story on this track of timber here. We were, uh, th we didn't first, we didn't do the, it, all of it is a thinning, a first thinning. As y'all can see, coming back through here, uh, this is just what he's cut today. Uh, probably cut six acres or so. I think what he's cut of it. But anyway, we were working 84 acres of this 160 acre block. The first 80 or so acres was cut in, would have been, would have had to have been the fall or last, later summer of 2019. This area that we're working in stays very, very wet typically, as y'all can still see in the ditches here. Like it's really dark, really black. There's actually water underneath that. I mean, and, and we're in a, in a drought situation here, but it just stays really, really wet in this area. Like, it's just some of the really lowest. I love that sound. Boom! Oh, did he get his truck? Nope. I thought he was going to get his truck, but that piece flew out. Anyways, it just stays really, really wet. So you have about a, typically, in a typical year, you have about a, I'd, I'd, I'd probably be thinking you might be stretching it on saying you got a, a, an eight-week window I'd, I'd like to think you have a four to six week window to really get in here and work anything 
most years and it's usually not because of the ground you can you can typically work the ground the roads are not what what they need to be it uh the, the roads usually just they they don't hold up well they used to be some of the best roads in this area to work with work under but they they come in here years and years ago and as you can kind of see i'm sure you can see where the ditches are really deep really deep and the road's kind of high they brought track hoes and everything else in here a few years ago and many years ago actually and they dug the ditches really deep built the roads up really high they had great intentions but they weren't taking into consideration that they were adding like 18 inches of fresh dirt on top of it and the dirt is really slimy slick dirt when it gets wet you just you can't get any traction on it and they covered up all their good rock they didn't put any more rock on it, it and, and in turn they just they they just killed the, the infrastructure so by them killing the infrastructure like they did it, it really eliminated uh, you know being able to work in here when the ground the ground can be worked pretty regular but you can't work the, the road you can't truck it so they uh, that was another timber company that it, that it owned this at the time it wasn't the current timber company that has it and they said it just didn't it didn't work out for them so they started this track, it got wet, they left it, the hurricane come through, it blew down a whole bunch of what we're cutting. This little patch right here is a, a little small patch that for whatever reason they didn't cut about two down rows. I don't know if maybe it just got wet in this, because this little patch right here didn't have any down rows in it, and then back over here had down rows, so I don't know if maybe they just were skipping past it trying to find better ground or what. Anyway, so this little patch right here is not too badly torn up. It's, uh... So we first thinned what they hadn't thinned already. Salvaged that. Uh, didn't, you know, it wasn't the best. It, it being an 18-year-old stand of slash first thinning, we should have made two two and a half loads to the acre and i don't think we barely cleared a load and a half to the acre because of all the dead stuff which is fine you know it's it's good wood so it's it's uh it's always nice to get to work good wood whether it's a little bit to the acre or you know or not as long as you're clearing a load to the acre that's that's kind of your 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 profit margin in a thinning you know so, most of your clear cuts are looking for you know four and five loads to the acre most of your thinning operations are looking for a load load and a half to the acre a load's kind of like bare minimum load and a half is where you kind of start seeing some decent profit off of the track so uh so we're just we're, we're coming in here and and following them follow, uh, we thinned everything that needed to be thinned and then the timber company has elected to go ahead and clear cut the remaining stand and they're just going to replant it and it'll be a separate 80 acre track so they'll you know this this winter or this end of this fall they'll come in here site prep it everything else like that this winter more than likely this will be added to their replant schedule and it'll be replanted in 12 to so years you'll you'll see it look something like this you know, this here is about 12 year old timber. This is actually a stand of loblolly. Um, so in about 12 years or so, it'll it'll be regrew and and restarted, and and we'll uh, we'll we'll thin it. And I I'd be lying if I told you we'd be in here at 12 years old. We'll probably be in here as wet as it stays and the rotations that we're on. And if you do the math on years that we're typically wet to typically dry. Cause everything goes in cycles everybody wants to part hype climate change and all this other mess that's a bunch of baloney but it uh we just our weather patterns goes in cycles and right now we're in one of our dry cycles so we're in here getting some of the wetter ground that you normally don't get to that's so damn cool and uh so realistically it's probably gonna be 14 15 years before we can get in here and first in it 
again. Who knows, by that time I may be retired or on to bigger, better things, you know, so who knows. But for now, we're gonna, we're gonna clear cut this. We're gonna, this is what's called a salvage clear cut. Uh, so basically we're, we're just coming in here and salvaging the remaining standing timber because they, the timber company elected that there's not enough residual timber standing to even just skip a second then, let it stand till it's, most of our timber down here is clear cut between 32 and 34 years old and just let it stand for that many years to, to make it to clear cut status and then make it worth a, you know, make it a, a, a profitable log stand for the timber company. They don't see that, that that's in its future for this stand. So they're just gonna have us clear cut it while we're here. Since we're a pulp wood crew and we have the majority of our pulp wood loads for the timber company. So we're gonna clear cut it, make our week off of this. And uh, when, when we, uh, when we're done, like I said, they'll replant it and so many more years it'll be rethinned. But so we're right now we're just we're just trying to salvage what is remaining to be stand. When we get into some of the worst areas of where it's really tore up and stuff, I'll do some more videos and explain and show y'all what I'm talking about. But it's uh we done a lot of this. We did like Y'all, if y'all been around for a while, y'all know we done a lot of salvage clear cuts right after the hurricane, and there's still areas of the of the state down here where, where they're primar primarily still doing salvage clear cuts, where they know that the track is never going to make what needs to be made to make it profitable on the log, so they're just going ahead and cutting out what they can now, getting the chipping saw out of it, which there won't be any chipping saw come out of this, and uh, and then it'll it'll be. You know, they're they're just they're just there's just thousands and thousands of acres down here that just got wiped out. I mean, it may not be completely flattened, but it, it's to the point of there's there's just thousands of acres down here that's just had to be cut and and restarted and filed as a loss for the timber company and for your smaller timber companies, it's it's a bad thing. So, yeah. Hopefully, the sun's not killing the camera too bad. There, I guess I could I could walk like this. <laughs> But that wouldn't be too good for myself. Probably don't need to be doing that, but uh, we'll stand like this and just do it. But, so anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh, we, uh, I'm actually got to go to a doctor's appointment this evening, so I'm kind of pressed on time here. So we're going to go ahead and cut this video off. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that little bit of watching Brady right there. Make sure y'all go find us on TikTok, especially you like the uh, our segments with slow motion and music and if you just like sitting here watching the machines work tiktok's not for you captain so just giving you a fair warning up front but if you like watching the, the cinematic video stuff that as, as they like to label it uh i highly encourage you to go find our tiktok it's we got a lot of great content over there you can also find brady on tiktok he's 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 got a tiktok you can i think it's either brady johnson or uh, I believe he's actually on there as the woodwhacker guy. Um, so yeah, Brady's got a TikTok. He's had it for a while. Y'all can go find him over there. Uh, he's got a lot of good content as well. Uh, like I said, we, I'm still going to keep doing the YouTube stuff. It's fun. I enjoy the YouTube. I enjoy TikTok as well. Just TikTok is a completely different animal. Like I can, I can just, uh, I can do things differently. The the stuff that doesn't respond well on YouTube responds very well over there. And for whatever reason, I thoroughly enjoy doing some of the stuff that uh, that you can't do on TikTok. I mean, YouTube, as far as using regular music and the slow motion and the really cool shots, just 20 second clips of something working. You know, things that just don't hit well on YouTube. It, it hits really really good on tiktok and 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 i'm really enjoying it and and there's more comedy over there as well with us so anyway hopefully y'all and enjoyed that little little ride or watch along and uh everything else so yeah off to go look at my or find my doctor and see what kind of good or bad news they can give me this evening Hopefully it's good. And, uh, there's some cool things coming, guys. So 
If you're not already subscribed, I just responded to a guy that said he's watched for years and never been subscribed. It costs nothing to subscribe. It would, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. And, and uh, it helps the, the algorithm push us. And I would also appreciate it if you can comment or share or whatever. The more interaction y'all give me, the, the more uh, YouTube pushes us around. And I mean, the more... The more it pushes us, you know, who knows where this can go or who knows what it can can bring. Watch oh oh Mickey back here the the wood stroke. Alright, so it decided my phone was too hot. And uh anyway, we're shutting down, we're going home. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe, please follow, whatever, comment, share, like the video. Even if you're not subscribed, just hit the like button please and uh to the next video. Catch y'all next time. We're out of here, baby.